welcome back to L.A. Noir. On the previous episode, our man Cole was busted down to the arson squad, tasked with investigating some dodgy fires, with families winning vacations away to Catalina Island through a promotion fronted by a housing development company, the very same ones that tried and failed to buy them out. Mysteriously, their houses are then burned down while they're away on holiday, if they are lucky. Without further ado, let's find out what happens this week on L.A. Noir! Walk in Elysian Fields, sponsored by Big Dick Energy. Little prices, big dicks. This man really, really likes origami. Yep. I don't know what, what. When did it become a thing that like anyone who's doing origami just looks like a serial killer? House fire, <laughs> bad one. At least four Vix. Get out there and find out what you can. Four Vix. Brilliant. Fantastic. This is how you want to start your day. Mate, Herschel, you're, you're really breathing down the back of my neck here, man. There he is. Mate, seriously, give me some space. Give me some space. I know like, I know they've told you to watch me, man, but like... <laughs> for God's sake. Oh, okay. Uh, Herschel Biggs is some sort of demon. Alright. Where are we off to? Uh, that is not an exit. We hear about Rancho Escondido. Are we having a conversation, Vic? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. Well, the new housing development's a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. The developer's gonna have some very angry customers. Any century, any century, you see what I'm trying to do. You have some customers trying to nail that century. He's identified. still in custody, Herschel. Want to bet? Well, it kicked him loose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Alright, okay, so more buildings with GIs getting burned down. There's a whole lot of places getting flung up real quick, like, but not as fast as quick candles! Get your candle built in 25 minutes! Whoa, what a deal! Alright, here we are. This looks suburby enough. I don't know what it is, but the way they design these suburbs, there's like a million houses and no anything else. Like, what are you meant to do all day? Just like live in the yard. Is that why they're so overprotective about their fucking front lawn? <laughs> like Hank Hill? House fire, 12.03 p.m. What's the chances that they didn't want to sell? I wonder. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stuff. Ah, uh, I feel like we're about to see some more uh, puppies again. Sorry, I got lost. Carruthers, where are you? All right, Carruthers, how you doing? Oh, no. Morelli, Mike, we recovered a picture of the family. Don't show me a picture of the fuck. Fuck. Okay. Like, I don't need that on my conscience, mate. Be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. It looks like a monument, man. Sense. That's fucked. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. It wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved them into this room. What a creepy ah. thing to do, man. It still what? doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Psychopath, mate. Absolute psychopaths out there. What the fuck? All oh, right, they look like goddamn aliens, man. What are you doing? Looks like they're pleading for the lives. Right effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Can I can I back out of this? Jesus Christ! Okay. Ah, lovely. A nice picture of them. You ah. think about how many people have died in this world and how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs. No, I have not. Show some respect. It's our boy. 
I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? He got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Psycho. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. Probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I've seen some shit. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. You could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? The fucking guy said that. Right I shit. didn't say that. He but said that. I don't that. think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Oh my god. Oh no. There goes the dance. Okay. And out. Yeah, they've just spooked back. Albert, He's check out, out the hot water system. Make sure we're oh, dealing Jesus with the same Christ. ammo. Sure, Phil. I'll get back to you. Leave the rest once you don't step on that head, find out what's eating digs. I think he's got the bulk. I, I wouldn't be surprised, man. Just took a big whiff of the ashes of that family, and he's like, "Hell no, I'm out of here." Yo, big smick, what's happening? Are you all right? You're not got a bulk. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me, and you won't be pretty much longer. Settle down, you big shite bike. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the Second Marines at Bella Wood things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. You're in the wrong job, mate. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You Now you're you speaking this. my language, my man. Now listen, I've got experience with this. We've done this before. You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around. Work the names. You'd think after the first investigation the that they would maybe stop being okay, so bold. Like the cops are onto them already and they're like, yeah, just keep setting fire to shit. Done this for years. You don't look like a fireman, sorry. What? Oh, sorry, I just had to do a dramatic huddle there of your two inch wall. So, uh, Graham Soonis, what are you up to these days? LAPD. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. Mm. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Did you see or hear anything weird, mate? Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Why would that be suspicious? Why would you be like, ah, oh, yeah, I was asleep. What, what? Were you actually just like rubbing one out in the bathroom? Like you can just tell me mate, it's fine. I don't have any evidence so I'm just gonna hit him with a wee doubt because he's looking shifty. You didn't like him really, did you mate? Some neighbours you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. They always are. You said somebody's knocking these hussies down. Elysian Field. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Are you day? Why would you say that, mate? Again, I have no evidence, so like, doubt. Whatever you thought of that prick, his whole family's dead, and they don't deserve that shit. Talk to me now, you wee bitch. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. What, did you burn these house down, mate? Did you do it now, huh? Now I know why you're looking so shifty, mate, and you're being beaten around the bush like a wee bitch. You know what I'm saying? You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. Again, doubt, bitch, you, you, you're being shifty. I, I don't know why. Right. I need more, Mr. Ah. Foreman. Tell me what you know about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. I know nothing about it. I've never heard of them. Never heard of them. Anyway, right, I'll be back to fucking get you later, pal. I don't know what you've done, but you've done something, I can just tell. Right, hold on a second. We didn't really investigate the house, did we? Just kind of got lost and ended up in the basement for two minutes. Right, now the fact that it's all flooded and shit, it might just be because it blew up. But I feel like it's got to have some kind of relevance here. 
Okay, that looks like where the explosion this came from. Flashpoint. The heater detonated with enough force to expose the foundations. Is there anything of relevance? There's just tools. We're in the basement. Is there anything else of any value still left in this house? It just, you know, it exploded and then went on fire. It's not gonna leave me much to work with. There's the heater right there. Oh boy, right, insta heat once again. Looks like the same model. Ramon Nieves. Nieves. Reginald Varley once again. Oh, the fence seems to have been obliterated. Man, that next door neighbor's gonna be mad. Damn, man. This was on the opposite side for where the explosion was, man. The whole fence just got absolutely blown to bits. Just a rogue paper. Housing development burns. Ex-servicemen irate as GI houses raised. Five more dead in North, North Hobart Boulevard. That's really quick. And why did someone deliver a paper to the house that is burned down about the story about the house burning down? How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. Oh, this guy. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fires should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will How's be How's he using the phone when the phone's still on the receiver? Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. Sorry, that was all I took from that conversation. Other than the man being a, a psychopath as the, you know, either he's a time traveling psychopath with his own mobile phone and he, he disguises using it by hiding in phone booths uh, or they fucked up there. <laughs> the dug house. Everyone's got a dug house, but no dug. I've noticed that. I haven't seen a single dug in this entire game, but every single house has a dog house. No one's mourning the poor dugs. Because they seem to just vanish, you know? Poor bastards. Oh, wait, I found something. That is a big screw. A torch? Seems irrelevant. I thought it was a giant screw. <laughs> ah, I see, I know that the system of having the music on, it helps you. Oh, there's a creepy doll there. Uh, the music, yeah, it helps you know that you've missed something, but it drives you mad. Like, you're just wandering in circles. I would have been finished here five minutes ago if the music wasn't still playing, but I know that I've missed something. I'm giving it another couple of minutes and then I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm not gonna find a secret trap door or some shit. Yeah, clear out of here, you nosy bastards. Listen, we're trying to do our job here. Can I have you just standing there shaking your head at me, man? You're putting me off. Music is still playing. Is it just stopped? It just stopped. Okay, it starts playing around here. Let's look at this man's shoes eyes. Oh, can we do that? I don't know why, but... Boondockers, they ain't. Boondockers, they ain't. Okay. I can look at them both individually. I don't know why. Maybe it might have helped with the questioning of the guy. We didn't get into the specifics of his shoe size or anything. Okay, uh, officially I give up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't find whatever it is that it's... That whatever it is that I'm supposed to be finding there. Just spent about 10 minutes running in circles. I'd rather we just, you know, moved on. That's here. Shit! I can't leave until I find the thing that I'm here to find. Uh, what about his mail? Mailbox. No. God oh, damn it, Danny. No. I don't want to have to look up like a fucking game guide just to find this thing. I hate resorting to shit like that. And I haven't had to do it once yet, I don't think, in this entire series. Uh, one, I give it a once over and then I'm looking it up if I can't find it. Cigarette butts next to a tree in a neighbor's front yard to the left of the crime scene. That's what I've been looking for. Fucking cigarette butts in the garden. Really? I physically can't leave the scene until I find some cigarette butts. What is he doing? I'm telling him to go the other way. Haha, I think I see them. Oh, and we have a fucking uh, footprint. Footprints. 
Right, okay, there we go. Someone's keeping watch. Calderon. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Ran looks distinctive. Okay. Now, wait, hold on. Can I look at the... Yep. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. Oh. I not know that imprint anywhere. I, I have a weird thing. I already picked up that other guy's boots and said, these aren't boondockers, and I thought that was really weird. But it was weird because he shouldn't have known yet what he was looking for. So cool. Someone wearing boondockers. I hate that I had to look that up there, but we got there in the end. Right, hold on. Let me just... Fuck you, man. Herschel, I will drive out here without you, you know. Go on, run out in front of traffic, Herschel. <laughs> Lovely. Right. Locations. I still don't have anywhere else to go. We need more from the neighbors, Cole. Keep working. All oh, right, I need to go and talk to him again. All right, right, mate. Did you see anybody hanging about outside the Morelli's house? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out though. He was in your garden, mate. Ah! Did they have anyone working on the house recently? A maintenance man. A I should have expected. used the fucking evidence. I doubt it. Why would they bother with these old places? What with the redevelopment coming up? Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. God damn sure. it. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? A folded piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Hmm. Paper cray. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? Oh, he's in For fields, Mission man. Fields Developments. All right. Cool. Stashed away at that goes. Oh, I see you already have one. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. So we have to call something in. Uh, hell you. I was stupid that I should have bloody clicked line and used the cigarette butt thing, but no. <laughs> All right, hen, give me the number for the bastards that build the hussies. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Do I get any messages, though? You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. All right. Blades on the Morelli farm. What about you go up and talk to Elysian Fields? You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. Well, we need to talk to these guys. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. What the f Do you understand? So you're the first. So wait, he sends us out. Kelty has warned A family of four release. are dead. Makes sense. It's a dead end. And then he's like, We should check out Rancho Escondido. Annoyed at me for what we no, found out. Go on our fountain and wilt. Let's go. <laughs> they really don't want me to go to Elysian Fields, but I think that's where we have to go, right? Although, what is Rancho Enscondido? Enscon... what? Incomplete Elysian House and Development destroyed by fire. Let's go to that first. Right? Oh! And if we get some more concrete evidence, then we'll go to Elysian Fields and we'll see what the, what the deal is with him, you know? You know what? You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. We need to get some more... Eh... Uh, intuition. So, whoa, whoa, hey, don't do that, man. But we need some more points for our interrogations, because as we've seen over the course of this series, uh, I'm definitely not very good at them. <laughs> Whoops. Right, what's happening? Hot property. Cops, shit. Stop, LAPD. Well, as a guilty man, if ever I've seen one. Oh, no. Mate, you're not going to get away in that thing. He's got oil drums in the back. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. Hurry up. I'm going. Lay into his wheel well. Come on. Give him my good nudge. Step on it, huh? Get me just a little closer. 
Seriously though, in the car chases, they can do some crazy shit that makes no sense. That's the son of a bitch's rear wheel. Yeah. That's right, bitch, you better stay seated. You better stay seated, boy. That's right. But I'm scared uh, to go to prison, mister. They'll take one look at me and... They'll take one look at you and what, mate? <laughs> Slap you in that giant forehead. Play the fucking bongos on that forehead, man. Bet it makes a big hollow noise as well. Rancho Escondido, 5 p.m. You know, there are times when you're really missing nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. What are you talking about, Ersho, mate? The, the I'm locals not gonna are tell you again, sir. Restless. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not This is safe, America, sir. dickhead. Now step back. Or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. Right, son of a bitch! Whoa, hey, mate, what the fuck? Okay, alright. Okay, I don't know why we're doing That's this. Done it. Right, oh, shit, I've forgotten how to do it again. Right, hold on. Ow. Right, okay, there we go. There we go. It's kicking back in that old army training. Get fucked, bitch! Oh, shit. Alright. Wait, he's not down. Fucking finish him. There we go. That's more like it. Anyway. Wait, you want some, bitch? You fucking want some? Kick him! Kick him right in the face! Ow! And another! That's Cole's favourite move. Now hold on mate, I said stay down. I said stay- Nah, that just ain't gonna do. Mate, stay down. Right, down the pokey for you pricks. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. What the hell got them so body restless? House burned down and they just lost their fucking minds. Start attacking the cops. <laughs> like, what the hell has the cop got to do with it? I found something there, but then it went away again. What did we find? The house? Oh, dodgy bricks. Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? I'd expect some shrinkage in the heat. But it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't mm. appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. I mean, we're here to, like, you know. Ass oh, shit, okay. We're here to assess, you know, the damage and everything and see what what's going on. Deletion and ruining my career. Let's bite the bullet and get on with it. Wait, was that it? Oh, all right. You know, we were here to investigate, like, what happened, but we were just like, ah, oh, this house is a piece of shit, and then we just left. Like, we didn't even look at anything else. So now we get to go down to Elysian Fields and say their houses are shite. Right, let's go and shake them down. The action music has kicked in. Wait, how come all of these houses have burnt down? What the fuck happened here? No, seriously, what happened here? Somebody fucking firebombed this whole neighborhood. What the hell happened? No one saw anything. Blazing fields, 5 p.m. All right, Herschel, let's do it. It's a very modern little office, especially for the 40s. All right, hen, what's happening? Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? We're the police lady. We don't need an appointment. That's what Can I was I about to say, about? well, I'm... It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. And that's our cue. Hey, hey, hey. Thanks, ma'am. Herschel, seriously, mate, we've talked about this. What is happening here? We'd like to speak to Mr. Monroe. We need to talk to the big I'm chief. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Ah, fuck you. You like a cigar? Drink, boys. Sure, I'll cigar. have a cigar. Biggs. 
That looks shite, mate. Looks absolutely shite. We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. Ah, uh, shit. No quick what we got. I mean, it just, he sends out the flyers, that's all he said. No, I'm going to... Um. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? <laughs> what do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm not familiar with that one. How can you not be familiar with that one, mate? Every single family we've spoke to has had that one. Don't talk pish, Bob Egg. You know all about that shit. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Proof that he knows about his own promotion. His face is on it. But that's about as much as I have. Doubt. Bitch. Two families are dead, what? Mr. Monroe. This isn't a question of criminal liability. We're looking at conspiracy to commit murder. Do you know who you're talking to, son? You want to use incendiary language like that with me? I suggest you should leave immediately. Uh, He's made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes? So that I can sell them new ones? What exactly, mate. Exactly. Like the Morellis refuses to sell. We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Not just bundling them out like a fucking goddamn psychopath. I don't have any evidence though, do I? I just, you know, keep saying it. You're bundling these people's hussies. And he's like, no. Again, I don't have anything. I don't have anything, man. I think I need to just take his body word for it. So it's for the greater I'm good. always wrong no matter what I do. One man standing in defiance of what you think is best for the city. I thought an American's home was their castle. I'm not sure I like your tone, son. Uh, what the fuck are you doing with Rancho Escadido, eh? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Ha -ha. Only the best for our returning heroes. Pish! I found that house was a piece of shit. You're talking shite, Monroe. There's something fucked about those hussies. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Haha, -ha, but we did already. I'm no expert. But I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think that they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? Mm. Yes, Do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills. Do you suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. Tell your face that. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Glad to be of help, officers. Hmm. Give me That's that story. Shit. Any of these names ring a bell? I'm just gonna tap them all. Mm-hmm. Herbert Chapman is on this list. Yes, uh, him. 
Find we the all phone. remember him. We need to Chapman. know where we're at with Chapman. Right? I don't know, it's been a little while, guys. Sorry for the wait for this. Yeah. Right, yeah, dicks. I'm here to use a phone. Give me that. Give me that phone. Not even gonna ask Operator, you. Operator, message nothing. for KGPL. How could I help, detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, detective. Damn. I'm sorry, detective. Not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. I was just going to go nab him Thanks for, for a help. second time. I smell a lawsuit coming. Well, I love the chase. Oh, right. Till the, it's the minute tune. I win it. A beautiful face to learn love for me in it. Surely somebody's Give told him, don't come down here, man. It's not a good look. Maybe I'll bin it. Because I always kill the things I love. Uh -oh. Buy me a drink, Cole. Slap the shit out of that no. little bitch. It's not even for old time's sake. Take his fucking eyes. Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. Now get around it. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... threats for someone who cares about the boy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Uh, no, I don't. You're a fucking snake, mate. Stay away from Elysian Fields. Oh, no, I'm definitely should have known that, that you were playing Aaron. Boy. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. Should I just pop them? As soon as you see them, should I just done them? You get the message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty. He started making noises about my pension. No, we'll definitely investigate this shit. That, this is a, such a stupid right. move. Same with Phelps. Monroe's an ass white. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. I feel like Herschel's came around pretty fast. He's like, you know what? I think Cole's a good guy. He's here to do his job. 11K, go ahead. 11K, last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K on route. Let's go pick him up. I did. What a I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know yeah. Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason. Seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Ah, that's why he respects you. Because he is also someone who came back from that shitstorm and he knows how bad it was. So he's almost like, oh, okay, cool. You know, you, you were there. You were there, man. <laughs> I've noticed that throughout this game. Everyone else except like the ones that were in your unit. None of them were there. And they're always just giving them shit over like, oh look at a little war hero buddy. And you're just like, bitch, you weren't fucking there, okay? Man. Chapman's apartment, 9.17 a.m. We're looking for Reach Herbie. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. He's Coco Pops, man. Someone's Stop. done him in. He's away. Let's take a look at the car. Last time he's on more, mate. Let me have a look at that. We can just open his Let's car. See what he's hauling around. More of the shit. 
We, literally, it's what you got arrested for. Oh, Mosquito coils hard and evidence. fucking 45 automatic handgun ammo. Like, what is this man preparing for? Some sort of war against the mosquitoes. Whoa, that just changed there when I pressed that. That was weird. Uh oh, that's bad. I'm missing eight rounds. Maybe he's upset at them. It gives him opportunity. So a bit sketchy that he's literally got another bunch of the flyers with that man's face on it and all the tools to do damage to houses in the area. Holy cool. There he is. It's Chap. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit. He's seen us. Cops. Again. Wait, what? He's just gone out, ready to go. Son of a bitch. He must have gone to trolley. Is he just like... We gotta move fast, Cole. Took that fucking tram hostage? I'll call this in. Get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. It's not going to go anywhere though, is it? It's just like, oh no, it's <laughs> 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 unit. I'm not sure Street what we can car. do here, to be honest. East on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Again, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Stay on his ass, Paul. Don't lose him. How can you lose him? He's on a fucking trap. Just send someone further down the line. What do I do here exactly? Do I ram it? I don't think I can really do much to it, to be honest. It's going to end up like an OJ Simpson kind of situation. I'm just going to keep hitting it. I don't know. Oh. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Okay. There's people on the tram! Hold him tight, Cole. As soon as he ditches the tram, we'll be there to grab him. Okay, we've done some damage. Yeah. Oh, shit. Get me closer to the driver's cabin. I'll plug chat. Plug him? Alright. Look, Cole, the side plate's gone. Don't Give shoot me. the civilians! Oh, my God! End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Wait, you better not run. Mate, that was a very poor choice. Very, very poor choice. It's like we have our man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit Elysian in some way. I don't see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. I don't know. Uh oh, there's the chief. Of the captain or whatever. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery oh, award. Discrimination. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? We'll be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> <laughs> it just had his with that. <laughs> He's just moving in with help now. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. You worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money. 
and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. All right, we got all the clues and fucked up all the questions. But four stars, so it's fine. Chapman takes his motive and any possible ties to Monroe and the Legion Fields to the grave. Well, he made that bloody choice. That was nothing to do with me. The captain seems pleased to have gotten his man, but have Elysian Fields overplayed their hand? Something smells fishy. And for once, it's not just Herschel's breath. Find out what happens next time on LA.